Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Mendy Intruder, and welcome to Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, a very, very interesting little one, because I love Banjo-Kazooie. I even really rather like Banjo-Tooie. It was a game that not a lot of people actually really seem to like that much. I thought it was actually pretty damn good. Some problems with its level design, maybe the levels got a little bit too convoluted later in the game, but still a really damn solid game. But this is from the period where people stopped really paying so much attention to Rare after the Microsoft acquisition. Because Rare were a hugely, hugely important second party developer for Nintendo during the, well, mainly the N64 era, not so much the GameCube era. They kind of didn't do quite so much in that era that's fondly remembered. But really, this was after what most people consider their glory days. But I love Banjo-Kazooie, and this here is very, very clearly Spiral Mountain, and there's vegetables dotted around it, so broadly that's what I'd expect. Yes, that feels like a Banjo-Kazooie game. I'm not convinced anyone ever played Banjo-Kazooie and thought I really wish there was more of a vehicle focus, like vehicles all over the shop in this thing. But still, I have hope. Maybe Rare still knew what they were doing at this point. Though I can't deny I've never really been convinced by the visual design of this game. I'm not really sure who decided that Banjo ought to look really blocky and slightly idiotic and terrifying like a reject from Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh bloody hell, Kazooie's not doing any better, what have they done to her? Okay, putting a terrifying polygonal robot head on a stick is not helping the weird Five Nights at Freddy's of this, although I'm glad at least, well, I'm not glad. But yeah, Bottles died, of course, at the beginning of Banjo-Tooie. That's a shame. And Grunty's back, but now she's ahead, which should not really be that difficult to defeat, really. Except now, weirdly, there's a terrifying golden TV king come to visit us, the Lord of Games. Right, okay. Even ones that don't sell very well like Goodies. Okay, well, I'm glad to see Rare were willing to acknowledge that their glory days were behind them. Okay, a large amount of largely pointless story later. Yes, basically we're just in a new world doing the same old, same old we're gathering jiggies. Except we're also building vehicles, because there's a weird vehicle focus in this game. Hopefully it's good. Right, let's build a vehicle in that case. So, starting point, tray, the main body, and also for storing stuff and carrying it about. Lovely. Next up, slap some wheels on the damn thing. Seems like a bloody good idea. Wheel, and wheel, and probably some... Apparently that was fine. And maybe one more wheel. Four wheels seems like a good number. And we finally got into the game proper. Lovely. Yeah, so there's no jumping. I can get out. If I get out, can I actually do anything, though? Yes, I can do a... Okay, I can do a swing around. I was kind of hoping for a... Ah, I'm using a magic wrench. Fine. I can go and find myself more parts, take them back to Mumbo in order to unlock more parts. So here we are, there's one crate just right flipping here. Carry that back over, and if I wanted to, I could drive it back over there by just popping it inside my car. Put it over here, this will be get out of the way, pig. Now I've got new parts. And that's just got me some basic wheels and fuel again, fine. So sometimes it's just repeats, because once something's been built, you can't use it. It's not just finding like a schematic you can use forever, you've got to find more parts if I wanted to build something new. Alright, fine. In which case, back in the car, because the car's actually got some bloody speed on it, and well, not much. Also, it handles like a shopping trolley, which it feels like it really ought to, so fair enough. So, we want to be getting up top over there, to the top, to go and have a chat with the guy who's set up this whole thing. This weird thing where the entire point of the game seems to be, oh, no one wants to play Banjo-Kazooie anymore. Here's something entirely different. No. No, everyone wants to play Banjo-Kazooie. We just want you to make a good Banjo-Kazooie game. That's why there was so much flipping excitement about ukulele. Still, never mind. Let's just take the car up here and... Ooh, the flipping... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can I... Yep, yep. It's fine. It's fine. Make sure we actually get the notes on the way up. Because you've got to be pretty precise hitting them. And up we go. Lovely. There's a very, very strange combination of, like, you know, a great deal of reverence and nostalgia for the old banjo, because it's got things going on, like, you know, everyone makes the old sound effects, you know, Kazooie makes all the noises she used to make, and yet they've also done things like throwing out all of the banjo stuff, like all of the moves, like the flutter flap, and the beat bomb, and, and everything, pretty much. All I can do outside the vehicle is run around uh, and spin and do a single jump. I don't think I can do anything else. I mean, uh, maybe jam jars will show up to sort that out. Who knows? Let's just get in a car as the game clearly wants me to do that. Hello there, Lord Watch Your Face. So get jiggies, unlock game globes, game globes unlock new worlds. Fine, gotcha. So, got myself a game globe. Now I need to get it back down to its plinth. Its plinth is going to be, just pop that there. That's now inside my car. So now I can drive that down to where it's supposed to be. Unfortunately, we've actually got a shortcut heading back down because we've got this thing right here. So down we go and possibly brake, brake, brake. Lovely. 
In we go. Over to here. Pop out. Grab the damn thing with my magic wrench. And we've got a world. And just a quick sweep around telling me how many jiggies you're going to need for all the different worlds. That's 47 for the fifth world. And only five worlds. Okay, that doesn't feel like much, but whatever. Now, can I take my terrible, terrible trolley thing into the world? Hopefully, yes. In we go. Enter the world, sure. Welcome to Nutty Acres. There we are. Nice, green, beachy. Pretty classic first level for a platformer, really. Okay, God, you know, I quite like the fact they're doing the introduction of all the characters if it's a TV show, just to let you know who's going to be actually in the level and what they're going to be doing. And Clung goes... Wait. Bottles should not be back. Bottles is dead. We established this. Well, I guess technically we are like, you know, the god of video games is involved. So, And Humble Wumba's back from banjo Two, And Mr. Fit is back from also banjo Two. Marvellous. They're bringing back all the banjo Two stuff. Ah, I see. So this isn't actually supposed to be real. It's supposed to be something that was devised by this log chappy. Which is why everything's made of material. If we just hop out of the damn thing for a second, it's actually all... Actually, I quite like that. As a visually thing, the fact that everything's kind of deliberately fake and made of material and designed to look a little bit like a Banjo-Kazooie level, but one that's been like artificially created inside a studio. You know what? I actually really like that as an aesthetic design thing. I still like the way Banjo looks, but that's a really cute idea. You're a Jinjo. I feel like I should... No. No, just catch him. Catch him and then four of his friends. He's... Wait, that's not supposed to be a red Jinjo. Perform a race against Jinjos to get a Jinjo token that you can use to play bingo in Showdown Town for even greater prizes. No, 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 that's all wrong. Collect sufficient Jinjos, get Jiggy. That's the bloody deal. Get the contraption up to the speed marked on your speedometer and I'll eat my no I haven't got a hat, I'll give you a prize. Right, so we need to basically just hit a land speed record. Marvellous. So, where's a nice big... Actually, the beach. The beach would be perfect. So I've got to get my... Oh, no, I've, I've broken a tree. Sorry. I just need to get over to the beach, which... Okay, I need to do it fast. That... Wait, what? I... Okay, that was a fairly simple challenge then. You see that? That's what you're supposed to do. Except you're supposed to do it when I just walk into you. There's supposed to be none of this nonsense about, like, having to... So just to go down a slope and it was fine. Oh my goodness, you're adorable. Hello, what are you? And can I drop a boulder on your face? I can, but you don't actually mind. Hello, oh, can I pick you up? <gasps> I can pick up the giant robo buffalo. Oh yes, yes, we're taking this robo buffalo and putting him right in the sea. Right, and in you go, robo buffalo. And he's, oh, oh, bless him. He's adorable. The Robo Buffalo is my new favourite thing in this game. It's not quite as cute as the Bramuffalo from Fallout 4, but it's pretty damn good. Right, I can summon my vehicle to me at any time by just waving a magic stick and it just comes to me. Lovely. And then I've got that there. Very, very nice indeed. Now, there's a crab there. Banjo Logic says, batter with thing. Yep, there we go. Why batter with thing? What do I get for battering with the thing? When I batter with the thing, I can pick it up. Okay, can I just keep attacking it? Can I kill it in any capacity? I feel like I ought to kill it. Okay, I can't kill it, in which case it's coming with me. You're my new pet crab. Get in the bloody truck. There we go. I wonder if he's ever going to recover now that I've actually just put him in the truck and I'm just bringing the crab with me. I don't know. Let's just also ram you with a crab. There we go. Oh. Okay, I feel bad. I shouldn't have done that. Hello, I've brought you a crab. Can I come inside, please? Yes, yes I can. Beautiful. So now I've just got a crab. So I can just also, there's, there's you. Excuse me. Could you just go away, please? Thank you. Also, I just noticed the music is a straight up remix of Treasure Trove Cove. Which is, I guess, makes sense. I mean, there is a beach over there. It's just odd to me. So yeah, you'd pick Treasure Trove Cove rather than say a remix of Mumbo's Mountain for this level. It's kind of more Mumbo's Mountain-y. And it's the first level which Mumbo's Mountain was. But whatever, whatever, we'll go for it. Treasure Trove Cove was a great song. We can all agree that. Now that we've found Mumbo, that feels like a good starting point. Mumbo, what do you need me to do for you, my good man? Ready to cook silly wife help Wait, you're married? Are you married to Humble Wumba? I don't know. Maybe he got married to Humble Wumba. Who bloody knows? Right, need to find... An oil can. 
Presumably if I just move around some crates and whatever, I'll be able to find my way to an oil can. No, not that one. This one. There'll be an oil can around here somewhere. Oh, wow. You can properly, if you want to, kind of red faction get rid of it up. Okay, you can do way more than I was expecting. I've just basically pulled down his thing. Okay, can I also pull down his water tower? Please tell me I can pull down his water tower. Please tell me I can. Okay, well, maybe I can destroy his water tower with... I can! I can just destroy everything! Okay! Right! I'm liking this game a lot more than I expected here. Here we go. I haven't found your oil can, but I have found your water tower. And no, don't take it with him. Just put it over there. Good news, Mum. Yeah, he's looking confused, understandably, really. I think I've just found a bomb. All right, Mumbo, I will bring you... A... No, don't take the bomb with us. Instead, drop the bomb on the... I've just destroyed his house. Okay, I've just I've just wrecked his... You can actually just wreck Mumbo's house. Okay, I'm liking this game more. Here you are. I've brought you a bomb. Wait, hang on. There's a barricade here. If I want to actually... Oh, wow. I need to actually pull that out correctly to open that up. Like, I need to go this side and actually pull that up, rather than... There's some proper actual flipping physics here. I wasn't expecting any of this. Can I just straight up destroy, like, all of these walls? No, it's not everything. It's only certain things, but I can just break trees and trash stuff, which I do approve of. Okay, I'm taking the bomb with me. Just in case we need to blow something up, I've now got a crab and a bomb. So, off we pop to go and find... Potentially a gas can. If we find a gas can, that'd be great. But let's just take the bomb down to the beach as well. Beautiful. Also, the game totally said I ought to actually speak to Klungo. So, as he was right by the level entrance, let's just leave my... Oh, I've dropped the bomb. Okay, hang on. Here we are. If Klungo... Okay, Klungo. You seriously want to hand over the jiggy right now, all right? I've had enough of this whole, hey, maybe if you can beat me in a race, I'll give you... No. No. I have a bomb, and I'm not afraid to use it. So predictably, Klungo's got a challenge. He'll give me a jiggy if I beat him. Understandable. Big fire down on farm. Bear get to farm quick before harvest go up in smoke. Okay, I was just at the farm and it wasn't on fire, but whatever. So if I had more parts, I could build a new better thing. But let's just start off. I imagine my basic thing will be fine. I just need to get over to the farm over there. I assume that's it on the right. So go. And also, while I'm on the way... Grab myself some nice... No, you know what? Maybe leave those for now. Instead, just head over here. Head for the bridge. Head for the bridge. Head for the bridge. And we've got... How much time do I actually have? Ah, there's multiple tiers of objectives. So right now, I'm still in the happy blue stage. There we are. Farm not on fire after all, but I have just run over Mumbo. So that's, you know, a shame. Uh, sorry about that. Farm not on fire. Oh, you found the gas can then. Sorry if I blew up your house, but... Oh, no, I've, I've literally killed... Oh, no, he's fine. He's fine because he's not the real Mumbo. We're just inside the Matrix. So that's apparently a good enough job. We get ourselves a Jiggy. Lovely. And now just to utterly, utterly wreck this world I've very kindly been allowed into. So just keep knocking over the trees. Lovely. Okay, it's Banjo-Kazooie, so a good starting point is always just go to the highest thing you can locate. So let's just drive the truck up to the top of here and see what's going on. And there's a, a thing that's either glitching, a robot, or both. Nope, no, it flew off. Never mind. Okay, this mountain will do the job. Sure, let's go and visit this mountain. I've just fallen off the edge. Luckily, that seems to be fine. Ah, okay. Supposedly like volcano thing. Watch out for volcano thing or head inside volcano thing. One or the other. Right, in we pop. And what is going to be in here? Probably fake lava. Yeah, looks like fake lava to me. Or possibly real lava, who bloody knows. Also, I get that it's kind of the joke that this thing handles like a shopping trolley. But like something handling badly by design is still handling badly. Like, you know, it would be nice if it just handled nicely. Things handling nicely is good. And we've made it up to the top of the volcano. Nothing up here but... I will say, there's a distinct lack of jiggies. Like, jiggies in, like, you know, Banjo 2 and Banjo Kazooie were just lying all over the shop. Now it seems like it's more like you always have to do little challenges if you want them. Which I'm fine with, basically. I've learned something very important. The things don't float. They can, however, drive underwater very nicely. Now, yeah, here's a downright weird thing for a Banjo game. I'm just kind of driving on this level. I can't really find much to to do. Is that area there? Not much there. The swamp area? Not really much going on over here. Drive out onto this pier and there's... 
Not really much there. I guess maybe I need to come back with like a watery thing in order to do much. I'm probably about to start sinking in a second. Actually, wait. Hang on. I think I floated until I took on water because of the, the tray. Oh, is that true? Because if so, that's a really, really nice system. Hang on. So over here, at this point, I... No, no, no. So I sink straight away because the water goes in. But if I was just to basically take a running leap into the ocean, what happens there? Because then... Potentially, does that mean I can actually float because there's no water in the tray? And the answer is yes! And then I take on water and then basically I end up underwater. Well, that's fine. That's a really, really nice kind of cool system. Okay, the reason why the level was so empty is now becoming apparent. It's because there are multiple acts to each level. So now if I go back in Act 2... Yeah, Act 1 literally has only one Jiggy in it. The rest of it's all for nothing. So I need to actually come out and then go back into a different level to get any other Jiggies, which is convoluted. Right, and now we're back, but the world is not quite the flipping same. Not quite the same. We can still destroy flipping Mumbo's house, because screw Mumbo. But there we are. That's, I feel much better in general at this point. Right, so someone now has got a better little test for us. Somebody's going to give us a new Jiggy quest. So we've got ourselves a new vehicle here, Mumbo's Tractor, the Log Tractor. Use that to take Bomb to other side of level. Gotcha. And now I understand the colour coding system, which is, if I get there within blue, I get a trophy to say I did it really fast. Yellow is acceptable for getting a Jiggy. Okay then. No wait, that's not the way to the airport at all. The way to the airport is to go up the mountain over here. So you guys just naff off. Right, now cut through the volcano, and then turn right as you come out of the volc- Oh, bloody hell, bloody hell, the vehicles! The vehicles and how they- And uh, now, basically, I'm doing that bit from Austin Powers, yes. Yes, I am. Good. Now I'm going to lose, because it's now- It's now actually physically impossible for me to turn the car, because the camera jerks round, forcing the- Yeah, round- Round, 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 round. No, basically the camera has now rendered this uh, completely impossible. Good. Right, this time, go more direct route. Direct route will be, yes, I do actually want to head via the actual... And stop attacking me, bastard. I do actually want to head via the volcano, but I want to go in very carefully, because if you just get slightly sideways, the game basically says, screw you, you don't get to win anymore. Okay, nice and easy round of the corner here. Nice and easy round the corner. Don't hit the sides, otherwise the bloody shopping trolley will just go nuts. Now if we just bear round to the right, we will be here in plenty of time. There's bottles, not dead in this game apparently. Ah, red would mean I wouldn't get the jiggy, but I still get some notes, fine. So that's one G challenge completed there. Move onwards back to my starting vehicle and there's a few more dotted around here now. Now, new person with a Jiggy challenge here. By any flipping chance, is your Jiggy challenge just going to be drive a car a bit? Yep, you want me to drive a car, fine. Except weirdly, you're driving an incredibly slow car that is actually much slower than my basic, basic crappy truck thing. Lovely. Fortunately, he actually does have proper little bits of physics on him, so I can just basically ram him out of the way, which I do greatly approve of. Fine, that improves that a little bit. This is interesting. I just fell into the lava. Doesn't seem to be doing anything to me other than actually just reducing my oxygen meter relatively quickly. Right. Interesting, yeah. And now my oxygen or also health meter, I guess they double up in this game, just comes back. Lava. Nowhere near as deadly as you'd expect. Right, what does Humber Wamba want to do? Humber mentioned eruption jinx whole island. Alright, what do you want me to do and doesn't involve driving a car around? So, three rocks need to be got into water. Well, that's absolutely fine. We just need to find some water. There's some convenient water right bloody here. Just get you up here. Hop right out. Luckily, physics doesn't exist on this thing. Hop, hop thing into car. Drive car over to water. Stop right there. Hop right out. Get thing. Shove thing into water. Presumably job flipping done. Alright, move over to next thing. Don't go into the water myself though, that'd be bad. 
Now, do I actually need to bother? Could I just basically... Yeah, okay. What I could just do is say, screw it. Screw everything. You just go in the sea and you're probably about to do that. Okay. The fact that everything in this game does seem to have physics, actually, I quite approve of. Like, when you're racing someone, you can actually ram them. That's actually pretty damn good. And when you're actually doing this, you could just put it in your truck using your magic zoomy powers, your red faction drill powers. Or, you could just say... Screw it, I don't care. Instead, what I'm going to do is just basically ram it with my car and push it towards the water if you're confident you can do that thing. That I like. Now, over here, Anne, if I just give you a bit of a nudge... Yeah, if I just give you a nudge, you should probably start heading in the right direction. Sorry, cow! Yep, you, my good thing, are almost in water. Just keep it going along here. We might even get our first trophy here. In it goes! Job flipping dumb. And indeed, a trophy! Except here's the weird thing. I've only collected one Jiggy so far. What I need to do instead is now hop out of my car, bring the Jiggies over to this thing. Now just spin the analog stick. That causes the Jiggies to be broken into actual Jiggies. Then that, no, not you. Then the Jiggies need to be put inside my car in order that I could... Why is this a thing? What was wrong with you've got a Jiggy, so therefore you've got a Jiggy? When did we have to... You need to break the Jiggies out of a thing and then drive the Jiggies to something like a few metres away from where you broke the Jiggies out of the thing? All right, fine. There we are. Good. And that's opened up a new game globe to open up a new world. All right. A world which, by the looks of it, has like six flipping acts to it. And at Humber's shop, this is what notes are now for. I can start actually buying some stuff. I'm not sure what mirrors are for, really. Laugh at losers, build underpowered scooter vehicle with many mirrors. Yeah, genuinely not sure there, but a medium engine seems better. Yes, let's buy a medium engine. You know what, let's just clear out of everything. There we are. Apart from mirrors, they seem useless. Or blueprints, if I want to actually have already a bunch of stuff. Ooh, a Humber pusher. Okay, or a Humber bike, or a... Uh... What's nice and fast, by the way? Want something nice and fast? Humber Racer 2. Sure, I'll buy that for 10. Lovely. Yes, the Humber Racer is apparently fine, in fact. Lovely. Because I've bought the blueprint, I can just have that, even though I don't have any of the parts for it, but screw it, I'm just allowed. Still, on the plus side, let's put some flipping spikes on this old girl. Yeah, that's right. Those spikes I bought. Marvellous. Ah, that's easy. There's just an all mode. Let's just paint it all purple. Nice. And I can take my new nice fast car with spikes on the front over to the Testo track. That's fine and nice and lovely, yes. But I'd also like to drive it in the actual game, please. Yeah, there we are. I'm in the car. Exit the garage, please. And now I'm back in the truck. Not the car I was just testing and just built, because... I don't know. This game is extreme. Oh, right, fine. You know what? I think it just said the first Gruntilda battle had opened up there. Let's head over to the first Gruntilda battle in a bloody truck, why don't we? So here we are, but now it's night, and I can simply follow over here too. That's Gruntilda. Yep, let's go and have a nice little chat with her. Also, I've, as you can see, though I was not able to build the racer, I have indeed built myself a new truck, but with a bit of wood in it. So, you know, screw you, Grunt. If I touch you, you know what? Hang on, hang on. Nice big run up there. There we are. You know what? We want to defeat Gruntilda, so into the s Ooh, managed to avoid the sea, did you? Right, get the thing. Kill up, batter her with the stick. So she's stolen a big coconut. Need something big, heavy, or powerful. All right, I'd like to select the Humber Racer 2, please. Yeah, am I allowed to use that now? It's not particularly big, heavy, or powerful, but screw it. It's got spikes on the front. It'll do. Oh, now I'm allowed to use it. Fine, I see. Right, now let me just ram her. Yeah, there we are. Ram her with the spikes and then get immediately thrown into the sea. Right, after her, after... No, not into the sea. Okay, this car is... This car doesn't handle well. It's fast and it's not big or powerful. So that's good. Oh, it barely even turns. Oh, it really doesn't turn. This is me pushing as far on the... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Right. And boom. But there we are. I've got spikes. I've got spikes, which admittedly doesn't do that much. I need to... And I'm also kind of stuck in it. We're kind of put together. There we are. Right, now let her back off. Let her back off there. <laughs> Hopefully that did more damage to her than to me. Right, now we just need to get a good run up. And ram her in the rear. Yeah. Oh, gosh darn you stupid things. Okay, this is not the right vehicle for this job. And conveniently, yeah, Log will give you a good starting point if you want one of those. So... We could just take the log tractor. It's apparently pretty good. That looks big and heavy. Sure. 
And the game just flags this has more parts than you have, but I'm just allowed to have it anyway, because screw it. Now, admittedly, I've got no weapons whatsoever, so I'm guessing we're just ramming you, I guess. All right, well, we've got her pinned in a corner. Now, I guess we just back off and ram her a bit. Yeah, that, you know, she acknowledged the existence of that attack. And now she's stuck in a corner. Now, we just hope that eventually we'll just be able to get enough damage in. I mean, something's flashing on your thing. I can see something's flashing on your thing. And now we've just got enough weight and speed. To basically just keep doing you some damage. Back up a bit further. Get a bit more speed up. There we go. This is probably doing nothing. Yeah, fortunately the AI has no idea how to drive. Good, good. Yeah, something's now flashing red. Indicating it's in bad shape. So that's... Except now I'm hooked onto her. Yeah, now, now we're hooked together. Yeah, okay, good. Good. This is... This is... Good, because now, yeah, the pieces are now actually hooked together. And now there's there's no way. Okay, I'm just going to hop out of my vehicle in order to... Wait, I could just steal the thing. Oh, that was literally all I needed to do. I just needed to ram her into a corner where bad AA driving wrench couldn't get back out. And then I just needed to grab the thing with the wrench. Right, that, that was literally it. So, you could build a really good custom vehicle designed to take out her vehicle and cause her to crash and break off parts so the thing falls out and you can pick it up. Or you can just nudge her into a corner, the AI can't escape, and then you just grab it and then you instantly win. I see. And that gets me a jiggy and indeed a nice better quality tyre if I want that sort of thing. Lovely. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I think you get the point. This is Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, and I'm really divided on this one. Like, I'd heard really bad things. I haven't come to as negative an opinion as I kind of thought I was going to going into this. It's pleasantly surprised me in some ways, uh, and yet I'm still disappointed in others, which is, there's a lot of really kind of interesting good ideas here. Like the big physics thing, where I can just like hop out and just like grab stuff. Not this, apparently, but screw it, I can use that to just knock over a tree. The fact that like the world so much stuff has physics, for example, that I like, that's really damn good. I like the fact that, you know, there's a huge amount of customization in the vehicles. You can actually make vehicles with like, you know, different spikes and like boats and flying things and whatever, and the uh, visual design is cute, it looks nice, I'll be at the frame rate is a bit oddly low, quite frankly. I would have expected better from a frame rate for an Xbox 360 game from 2008 that's being played on Xbox One, so that's a bit disappointing. But yeah, there's lots of really fun, interesting ideas here. It just doesn't feel like they quite, quite all fit together. Also, I'm having this egg, thank you. Lovely. Typical Banjo-Kazooie logic. Find an egg. This is my egg now. But yeah, loads of good ideas, not sure it necessarily holds together well. But I'm about to thoroughly recommend this anyway. And the reason is because this is part of Rare Replay, which I recently saw in a second-hand game shop for £8. £8. And in Rare Replay, you get Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Tooie, Nuts and Bolts, this game you're seeing right now, Jet Force Gemini, which is spectacular, by the way, and Perfect Dark Remastered, Perfect Dark Zero... Blast Corps, um, what else? Loads of other stuff, like loads of other games. Many, many games. Oh, Viva Pinata and Cameo, Elements of Power, and a load of other really good, well respected games. Basically, if you have an Xbox One, you don't own Rare Replay, you're doing owning the Xbox One wrong. Quite frankly, just go and get flipping Rare Replay, even if this isn't necessarily the best game in the world. And there's some interesting stuff here. I will also, can I put you onto the. Hang on, hang on, wait a second putting you onto the lava. That does nothing to you. That's disappointing. So I guess I can only conclude nice ideas, not entirely convinced by the executions. That's the last you'll be seeing of Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, but you will most definitely be seeing more of Rare Replay in the future because there's still like six amazing games that I've not even shown the channel yet. That is like the best value game. Like literally, I can't think of a better value game than Rare. Well, maybe, maybe New Vegas. Oh, hang on, maybe Total War. Okay, fine. For me, maybe there's a couple of better value games in terms of like hours of entertainment, but in terms of number of good quality games on one disc, I don't think I've ever seen a better compilation than Rare replay. And I'm sure we will get some of those others at some point, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nut. And this has been Banjo-Kazooie, Nuts and Bolts. Some really fun stuff here. Just not quite sure it all fits together properly. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Okay, guys, I need you out of the way so I can fish. Sorry. I just really, really need to fishing, okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Emotions are forbidden, all right? Oh, my goodness, I get to ride a moose. Screw you, you don't get a moose. Oh, I've got an arm. Oh, my goodness, yes. Who's got the giant buzzsaw arm now, you bastard? <laughs>